It looks like the stigma from the DOJ report is sticking with the city. The Chamber of Commerce says it's had a hard time attracting businesses here, and it's hoping that doesn't impact conventions too. News 13's Catherine Mazzone is live downtown with the story. Catherine. Jessica, the city offered a sneak peek of its newly renovated convention center today. The Chamber of Commerce says big events here play an important part of Albuquerque's economy, but they're concerned the city's reputation could change that. It was a celebration at the Albuquerque Convention Center this morning as the city gave a sneak peek at $25 million worth of renovations. One. On hand to see the improvements, 29 meeting planners from 12 different states. Why not Albuquerque? Kim Thompson is looking for a place to hold a sales meeting for her company, Sunny Delight. Oh my gosh, the hospitality, um, the friendliness. Um, each hotel that we've, um, the venues have been, have something to offer for my group and I think it would be a good fit. The mayor hopes the convention center revamp will bring businesses here that may not have come otherwise. But according to Albuquerque's Chamber of Commerce, the city has a bigger problem, a perception problem. These incidents which have occurred have set us back. The Chamber of Commerce says the DOJ investigation and the Boyd shooting have done more than hurt the city's image. They've hurt economic development. We cannot create jobs in Albuquerque unless we have a safe community and the people who live here feel confident in our police force. The Chamber of Commerce says if things don't change, they're afraid big events won't come here. In the past, the convention center has brought in an average of 25 to 35 million dollars each year. Without this renovation, that would have disappeared. No question about it. You see a convention uh, attendee with a badge on, you go, oh, okay, it's nice, we got a convention attendee. No, that's walking investment. Now, the mayor wouldn't say whether he thought the city's reputation could affect convention business. He, the police chief, the Chamber of Commerce, and the business community met yesterday to talk about systematic changes in the department. Now, you can see a slideshow of the renovations for the convention center. Just go to our website, krq.com. Back to you, Jessica. All right, thank you, Catherine. Tonight's the first of many city meetings on how to reform APD. City leaders are holding community forums in the coming months where ideas from the public will be presented. Tonight's meeting is at 6 in the convention center's Messiah room. You can sign up to attend. We have that form on krqe.com under news links.